Um, and I mm. think you know, in life or in careers, sometimes you, know, you can have a final destination which you think you want to get to. But actually, mm. if you're too fixated on there's only one uh, way to that place or one you know, place that you're at one destination, mm. then actually you'll, you'll miss out on these amazing opportunities which are in front of you. And I, mm. and I think especially these days, um, you know, there's a bit of a Wild West situation going on. There's so much volatility. So in a way, you have to be adaptable. And I you know, quite like um, you know, what our good friend um, Christian Bush says you know, about this whole idea of creating luck. And I believe that opportunities and luck are, are always there to some extent, but you have mm. to keep your eyes um, open in order to, to find those things. Um, don't you think so? Yeah, I think uh, like most narratives in life, we tend to tell the story in hindsight. We say that was lucky or that was unlucky. And... We, we actually there was like a consequence and it, and most of the time it's predictable so you know um i think i had a phrase you know success is 100 percent predictable if you follow the the routines and you do the processes etc but we we don't tend to think like that so we don't see the whole uh the narrative but yes i i, I do think we can do things i'm less convinced that where's always in control you know there's a phrase in management you can be in charge but you're never in control and that like you know, this sense of there's too many variables happening in the world yeah, just keep an example from the book of not knowing you know if we talk about the thinking fast thinking slow and um, work by Daniel Kahneman and he says if he, he, he talks over over 100 unconscious biases you know from primacy bias recency confirmation bias etc but he says if you think you have reasons for your beliefs, you're probably mistaken. And example from chess, you know, in the, in the world, a couple of years ago, there was 1,141 chess grandmasters. Now, they, uh, to be grandmasters, generally, you have a very high cognitive abilities and abilities to, con um, to think rationally, to control. And they can think roughly around 15 moves ahead. That's a lot of uh, moves ahead to, to hold in your, in your mind. But they play in a game with fixed and predictable rules. Whereas we're operating in a world now where people are acting rationally and irrationally, predictably and unpredictably. So it's impossible that um, one person can have all the answers or no. So ra rather than uh, thinking that, yes, we have no control. Yes, what's in our locus control? I think Epictetus, the Stoic, said, you know, you distinguish between the two circles. One is in your circle of concern or control and one isn't. But we have uh, far, uh, we can take that autonomy, that responsibility, I think, at the same time to recognise that much of it won't be in our control, but it's not about controlling. It's how do we move from control to trust? How do we move from being able to control something to being able to respond? And that's a, it's a very different attitude towards our careers and to our lives. Less about control and predictability and more around trust and uh, working with what, what is happening, uh, working life with what's happening.